what's happening everybody youtube haven't did a video in a while right haven't did a video in a while anthony so what's going on buddy wild bill's in the house haven't seen wild bill in a long time Dwayne, what's going on wild bill anthony charles brant what's happening don what's going on you need to get that motorcycle out what about jonathan wheeler what's happening rn og what's going on Kevin, where you been, man? How are things going? Hopefully, it's going real well, right? OTJB making it happen. What's happening? Eddie Droder. So, we're going to do a little spot market money today, but we're going to do a new show at night. Sorry, other trucker James Best. I, I, You'll probably be sleeping. Unless I catch you on one of your 32-hour live feeds, where it goes into the night, then you can stay up and watch mine. If not, you'll have to wake up at 4 in the morning, watch the replay, because I won't delete it. So you can watch the replay. Um, we're going to go back to the basics. Uh, we're going to teach trucking, right? From beginners on up, uh, we'll have an open form, right? I can open up the lines, call them if you want, discuss the different ways of doing trucking, right? Running an old truck, new truck, halfway new truck, the pitfalls of each one of those, the money, the outlay of each one of those, lease purchase trucks, everything. Cover the whole realm of either owning the truck, financing the truck, What's the differences, the mileages, difference in cost, why a paid off truck is better for some folks than other folks, because there is. A paid off truck's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. The old truck, keep putting money into it, keep that only truck, keep rebuilding, is not for everybody. It depends on your business model. It's not for everyone. If it was for everyone, there'd be no new trucks. Companies wouldn't buy new trucks. It's only for certain business models. And we'll go over that too. Only for certain business models. So there's a, there's a reason and thanks for everything. You know, whether you have an old truck, new truck, halfway new truck, lease purchase, all that. We'll go over all that. Trailers are the same way. Um, and we'll go over all that. And it also goes over, you know, if you have your own authority, what do you run? Do you run cheap? Do you run, you know, expensive equipment and so forth? What's the pitfalls of running old trucks on, on a brand new fresh authority? There's a lot of risk, a lot of risk. Because when you pull into that way station, and we'll go over that too, pull into there, that first year is crucial that you get every inspection on the money. Because who runs this country, folks? Who runs the trucking industry? Who runs it? The insurance company. And if they think that you are a high risk, sure, you can get insurance. But it's not going to be 10000 or 15000 a truck. It's going to be 30000 a truck. Because you're in a high risk pool. I mean, you could come in, no experience, start a trucking company, and put on 5,000 trucks day one. Day one. But there's a catch. It's going to cost you 30 to 40 grand a truck. High risk pool. Every state has it. High risk pool. Do you want to be part of the high risk pool? Absolutely not. Why? Not going to make any money. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to have that show once, maybe twice a week, at night. Probably 8 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night, somewhere in there. I'll put the details out on the page. We're going to go back to old school teaching, and there will also be special videos coming out for the folks that are on with Thunder Funding. I'm going to do some videos um, for those folks that have authorities that want to build fleets. Well, they're going to get the inside knowledge of these videos, and it's for the Thunder Funding folks. They will have access to those videos. Um, that's another part that I'm doing. 
so, and then we'll go over, you know, anything you guys want to go over about running, the, you know, running companies and everything, all the way down to, you know, whatever you want to talk about. Because there's all different ways to do it. Not every way is for everybody. That's why if you look at all the different things out there, everybody runs them different. It'll be a great segment. Uh, thanks for this new format. It's kind of going back to where I saw two or three years ago. Yeah, I'm going back to that. Um, you know, we'll run spot market money 15 minutes, maybe twice. I was thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I'm going to try to do them around 10 o'clock in the morning, but I had some errands to run. It all depends on my schedule. I'm very busy. Uh, you can ask any of the guys that are over here. I'm very busy. Uh, but i take 15 minutes out. We'll go over spot market money. That, that's why I do these ones at night because it slows down at night and the videos will be coming at night instead of during the day because I have to actually have some time to do them. Um, but they won't be long videos either. We're talking 30 minutes to an hour tops. I'm going to try to keep it around 30 minutes. And you know, if it's a call-in show and people want to participate and it goes up to that hour, then it goes up to the hour. But... I'm going to try to keep the videos 15 minutes on spot market money, 15 to 30 in that area, and then 30 to an hour on those other videos. And then the other ones are going to be private videos for uh, Thunder Funding and the guys there that want to grow and expand, um, they'll have access to those videos. And they're going to be in-depth videos. Um, so that's, that's what's happening with those videos. I'm going to sit there and produce them and put them in there and then they can divvy them out to whoever asks for them or wants to see them. Uh, all right. What else is happening? Yes, Jonathan, we're, we made one snowmobile trip. Now, I took the snowmobile in to get it serviced. They say, hey, got a problem. Well, what's the problem? Well, there's an oil leak. Okay. So what's the problem? Well, it costs 900 bucks to fix it. Yeah, what's the problem? Fix the machine. Then they call it, oh, there's another problem. What's the problem? Got a broken motor mount. Got a, got a broken this part. I said, fix it. Fix it. So I got it back and I couldn't make my second trip. But it's fixed. It's like brand new again. It's like brand new again. Maybe I should stop popping wheelies with it. Riding them 100 yards, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know jumping over things. I don't know. Um, but that's where the channel's going. That's where it's going to stay. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to go back to that. And then, you know, if people don't watch, they, they don't have to watch. Uh, if they want to learn something, they're going to learn something. All right, so let's check it out. Boom, one, two, three. Here we go. Load availability. There it is. What's happening around today? Let's shrink this up. Let's check out van freight. Let's do some van density map. Boom! Look at that. That probably blew your speakers out. Just did it on purpose. Look at all the green, except the Mississippi. But look at the yellows and greens over here. Washington, South Dakota is green. Look out, folks. South Dakota. We even got New York trying to turn green. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, if you really want to know what manufacturing is doing, just look at flatbed. If you want to see if the, if the country's coming back, look at flatbed. Here's flatbed. Hardly no red, folks. That means this year is going to be booming. Freight is going to boom. Now, how do you know this? Well, when you order something, because everything, most things come from China, and it says it's going to take eight weeks to get it, and you ordered it eight weeks ago, and then they send you an email saying, hey, your product's here, but it's on a boat sitting outside L.A. Harbor there. And it's going to take a month to get it off the boat because there's so many ships out there, they can't unload them. 
all that freight, folks. So keep the wheels turning, keep making money. Now's the time to make money. Now, not, now's not the time to sit around and then, you know, relax, make the money because just like the housing market, what goes up must come down. It will, it will come down. Who knows when? No one really knows. Uh, so why it's here, go get it. Because you can never get it back. Jacksonville, Florida. 150 miles, any 635 loads. That's right, Sergio Ringo. Time to make order American products. But the problem is a lot of, a lot of places are going to leave America. But, you know, we won't talk politics. You know, I had people leave, the, you know, well, I'm, I'm unsubscribing because you brought politics in. I didn't bring politics in. We talked about fuel prices. And everybody knows certain organization gets into the White House, fuel prices go up. Other organization gets in there, that goes down. We all know this. It's not political. It's just a fact. All right. If you shut down fracking, what do you think is going to happen? And pipelines and so forth and so forth. What? It's just going to come out of the ground by itself? 900 bucks, Georgia and Florida. 474. Look at that. Let's find some good stuff. Georgia to Florida, 1000 bucks, 327. Coyote, 1500 You probably get 1500 out of them. Thirteen hundred right here, sixteen hundred, and we slide on down, and we see that, you know, anything around that area is paying really, really well. Some people at home blowing them stimulus and tax checks instead of being out there making bank amateur. Big Mac, what you know? What do you say? What do you say about that, Big Mac? You know, they're gonna blow money. It's free money. You could take that stimulus money and buy stocks with it. Try to make more money with the money. But it's not what they're going to use it for. They will go buy video games, go buy new Xboxes, sit home, you know, order pizza. Four weeks later, run out of money. I got to do some trucking. That's usually the, the you know what happens. <clears throat> you see it all over Facebook. There's a few guys on there that you know. That's what they're doing. Let's see what's Eddie talking about. Had a L'Oreal load with Coyote, <clears throat> which I pulled many times with JB Hunt. Coyote took me off the load because I haven't pulled twelve loads with them in the past three months. <clears throat> there are some brokers that will do that because it depends on the customer. If the customer is a high value customer for them and you haven't pulled loads in so many months, you're not allowed to haul the high value customer load. They're high, they're high value customer, they call it. Their loads. You can haul any other coyote load, but not that customer's loads. It's kind of like at Schneider, right? You for Procter & Gale and all this, if you're late, 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 and never shows up on your board, things like that, because you got taken off of being able to haul that customer's load. So, same thing. Certain brokers have certain customers that require certain things, and if you hadn't pulled that many loads, they don't know your uh, matrix on time, you know, because they don't want anybody late. So, if you haven't pulled that many loads, they can't give you that load, because you could be late. And they can't take the chance. And they won't take the chance. Um, that's why there's that in place. They're one of them that does it. Let's see what else we got. If, if anybody is wondering. Carlsbad, California. Home of Thunder Funding. Uh, let's see. Rate per mile. Here's the good stuff. This is all LA Basin. This, this little stuff here. $4,800. 513 a mile to Colorado. I'd go there for 4800 513 a mile. No problem. You mean you can't retire on stimulus money alone? Well, Charles, you might be able to retire on stimulus money because, you know, they're, they could be talking about giving two grand a month to everybody. You know, they just keep giving money. I mean, you can just print it. I mean, just cut more trees down. You know, print the money. Just keep, keep the print. Don't run out of ink. Just can't run out of ink now. You know, just keep printing. 
It'll be okay. Just print as much as you want. Hand it all out. Then you could probably retire on stimulus money. Just saying. Carlsbad, California. Home of Thunder funding. Call them up. 800-240-4140. Tell them Bigger Greater Network sent you. They'll give you a good deal. I don't care what anybody says. My opinion, best funding company in this country. Um, hands down. You send them stuff. If it's blurry, you don't have the right pages. They let you know right away. So your stuff doesn't sit there in limbo. Um, they are growing. They're, they're getting bigger and bigger. And they're putting on more people to keep the um, small, small hometown feel, right? To where they can call you up, ask you how it's going, see what's happening, you know, make sure, you know, everything's going good. Victorville, California, 3500 bucks, 499 a mile, um, 702. And other truck or James Best? Look, can you see? I'm waiting till you say yes in the chat. Yes in the chat. Yes. You know, all this bill. Yes in the chat. James, can you see me? I got something to tell you. You're going to love this. Although you never sent me a hat or a t-shirt or nothing like that that you're printing. I mean, he's printing he's printing t-shirts down in his basement like he's like it's money. He's got like a thousand of them printed already. Look, can you see me? I'm waiting for the yes. Show stops until James says yes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let me take a drink. This might take a while. You guys can yell at James because he's not saying yes. Somebody send him dollar sign tot JB. Somebody send him five bucks. So he'll say yes. <clears throat> this is just for him, this knowledge. Because I know how much he likes this stuff. Who says we should just go on? Because I don't think, I think James probably would be in the restroom. He's too busy. <laughs> All right, James, you lost out. For everybody else, since there are no truck shows, um, I was on the phone with Thunder Funding uh, the other day and talking to Willie, and we were just going over some stuff. And they said, you know, since there's no truck shows, I says, hey, don't you guys have any swag? You know, don't you have any of that stuff? You know, T-shirts, hats football, you know, all this stuff. Like you give away at the truck show. They do have it because the truck show's got canceled. So, what we're thinking about doing is during the truck show time frame, you know, one of those truck shows, well, you know, we announced it, they'd come on and do a big swag giveaway, just like if you're at the truck show. Shirts, hats, fly swatters, all that stuff, right? Do you think, guys think that'd be a good idea? You know, during like the truck show week, like for, you know, gaps or whatever, do a show. They come on, maybe do like an hour show and just give away all kinds of merchandise. T-shirts, hats, you know, fill your, fill your drawers up with T-shirts again. What do you think, James? Would that be cool beans or what? Um, and give back to the trucking community uh, because you can't go to the truck show and get it. So that's what we're thinking. Uh, Rob's truck wins the ugliest in the show. I don't know what the prize would be, but we can get you an ugly truck show. You know, a plaque or something. Um, Clyde, lunchtime. I did have lunch. It was microwaved for two minutes and 30 seconds. And then this is not... This is a caffeine-free Pepsi. Doesn't have the kick like regular Pepsi, but 
we're lowering our caffeine intake. And you know you've had a lot of caffeine in your life. When you start lowering that caffeine, caffeine intake, you feel different. I mean, you go through this phase, right? And then once you get past that plateau, you start feeling better. I'm past that plateau. I'm feeling better. Um, heart rate way down there. So I say, no, it's time to give up caffeine. I'm getting too old. See all these gray hairs? Didn't get them. That way, Cascade Transport. Did you hear the new, new lineup? This is what we're going to do. Tuesday, Thursday, I'm going to do a 15 to 30 minute segment. Probably try to do it around 10 a.m. Spot market money. Then two nights a week, maybe three nights a week. Two nights a week, we'll be talking about nothing but trucking. Buying trucks, used trucks, old trucks, running each one. What's the difference? What's the pitfalls? Who should do it? Who shouldn't do it? Depend on your business model, trailers, etc., etc., etc. Then I might do one time a week the horseshoe show, or you know, do talk about whatever you want. Um, there you go. Giving away W nines. Talking to a gentleman right now that might buy more W nines and lease those out. So if you want a W-9, you might be able to do lease purchases on W-9. A lot of people ask me, hey, are you going to get some trucks in and do lease purchases? Not on my cards. Probably not. But if I did, I got the buying power to go in and get full maintenance leases on Max and Volvos and things at a really, really, really good price. A lot of people are paying way up there for them i'd be getting them a thousand bucks less a month so i don't know thought about it it's tempting it's tempting but that's really not my business model um you know will it ever happen don't know i never say never in this business it's just another add-on to a company um, but near future, no. Am I in the process of building something? Yes. Can our contractors be able to use it? Yes. Can I use it for free? Yes. That'll come later. So everybody that's leased on to this company will have another benefit down the road. Um, anybody know, anybody want to know what it is? I mean, I'll tell you what it is. It's no big deal, but um, it'll be another benefit of being over at Light Trucking. You know, probably a year or two down the road, but it's coming. It's coming. You never thought you would do some things you offer now. You never know. There you go, Charles. So, because I, <clears throat> I have a lot of contractors over here that, you know, say, hey, can you help me do, put this on my truck? Can you help me put this on your truck? Because I do a lot of mechanical work. I used to work on all my own trucks before, you know, they started this DF system and everything. So, I got, hey, can you help me put wings on my truck? This on my truck? Sure. Come in here. So, um, in the future, I'm going to build a nice shop. You'll be able to come in. Use the tools, no charge, and leave. So if you want to put an inverter in your truck or whatever that, you'd show up, I'd help you, you know, or you could at least use the shop. Tools would be there. Install the inverter, whatever you want. Put wings on your truck, whatever you want. You know, that'd be part of being over here. Just pull in, do that, have barbecue, right? Grill will be outside barbecue, whatever. Um, but for the owner operator, <clears throat> that's what I'm looking into trying to get accomplished next summer, if not the summer after that. That is what I'm going to try to, to, just another perk for being over here at Light Trucking. That's what we're going to do. Because a lot of people don't have those shops. Right, Rob? A lot of people don't have those shops. Chicken lights too, right? Chicken lights, whatever. So if you're leased on over here, once I get that built, you know, give me two years, uh, maybe next year, 
because I got a lot of things going, but that's in the, the plan. And if you leave sign out here, you can just roll on in, you know, need help, need a ride to get the parts, whatever, we can accommodate. Um, that way you're saving money on $140, $50 an hour labor, things like that. Like if you have an exhaust problem, pull it in, man. We have the tools. Knock the exhaust. I've done exhaust work on semi trucks. You just, you know, you take them clamps off. Boom, boom. There you go. You know, just a little added benefit. Yep. And then James, you know, he can <clears throat> he can drive over. You know, he's got his keg. He's got his music. Um, like says, can we have an in-ground swimming pool too? Now, now, well, no, well, so look. If you want it heated, talk to Mother Nature. Um, you know, don't, no, let's not get too overboard. I'm just kidding. I just live over in Paw Paw. Uh, where did you go? Uh, the Coca Cola plant or Minute Maid, whatever they want to call it over there. Hot tub. Need a gig welder. Got a fab of stainless one box. Um, I do need a bigger welder though. I got a welder. I need a bigger one. Um, garden hose is fine for you. Hot tub. Well, you know, we can do a hot tub. I guess. All you got to do is go get one of them kiddie pools, fill it up with water, and throw a heater in it. Just kidding. Uh, What's those heating elements? You put it in like for hot tubs, right? You could you could hook up one of those and feed the water through and make your own. Use duct tape, you know. Um, I gotta cover my eyes up, Big Mac. Oh man, that would, I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't want to see that. What's up, Big Face Trucker? I did. I did go out and purchase another. Uh, weapon because it came out and it was a good deal it was, it was under msrp i said man that's a good deal i couldn't believe they actually had one it's hard to find weapons these days it's let alone the ammo you can't find the ammo um you can never have too many folks it's your right and don't ever give it up because that's the only reason why this country hasn't been invaded because they know most every house has a weapon in it. Now, if you allow that to happen to give it up, guess what's going to happen? I won't go any further because then it's going to get political. Uh, 2150, California, California. Look at this, Interstate California. 483 a mile, 2050. That's right. We won't get it back. So I went out and got, I, I purchased another um, m and uh, Smith & Wesson 9mm Shield Plus. Small, compact, holds 13 rounds, one in the chamber. It's 14 rounds for a concealed carry compact. That is better than the six round that they usually carry, six to seven. Um, so are they changing clips? You're not. Rancho Cucamonga, Boulder City, Nevada, 424, 236 a mile. 1900, Nevada. Look at the loads out of California. If you want to see big money, one, two, three load board, just click on it. Click on highest posted rate. Seven grand back to Ohio, 301 a mile out of Mira Loma. Woo! I've been looking for one, too. Hard to find. You've been looking for that plus? Sergeant Ringo, I could show it to you. You've been looking for the plus. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice weapon. Cause I own the, I own the, the, the father of that weapon, right? Um, no safety, no thumb safety. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a no thumb safety on this model, but they are all sold out. They sold out of the no thumb safeties in less than an hour. Um, the only ones left were the thumb safety. I said, well, okay, whatever. Just won't use it. Right? Just don't put it on safe. Then you don't have a thumb safety. Um, there you go. 
just a handheld in general, I mean, they're hard to find. And, you know, the ammo that they'll give you ammo if you buy something. Five thousand North Carolina, sixty nine hundred to Virginia, and we go on down the list. Good money out there. So let's uh, shoot on over to Albany, New York. Let's see what's going on over in that neighborhood. Forty six hundred to Texas, two thirty five fifty, thirty five hundred, and so forth. I want a Sig P three sixty five. Sig makes good, yeah, you know, they make good weapons. Now, one of our drivers bought a Sig. He's got it on order, and it's been he's been waiting for months. Can't get it. I mean, he's, he's ordered it. They say can't make them. He'll get it someday. Nine hundred bucks, PA to New York, one hundred eighteen miles. Fourteen fifty to Maryland, to six forty seven, two hundred twenty four miles. We're thirty one minutes in, so you know we're gonna get out of here in a minute. Uh, but the new format's coming. I think you guys will like it. You know, let's get back to talking trucking. So if a new driver don't even have a CDL. You know, we can talk about that too. Um, and mainly people are going to talk about, you know, if you're a company driver want to go on or operate that, we'll talk about all the things, you know, do you pay cash for a truck? Do you buy a used truck? Cause it, it's, it's not for everybody. Each, each different truck is different for each operation. And you know, we'll go over all that and the fuel cost because we'll talk about that. Might be cheaper. See, this will, you know, I get all kinds of comments, but this is just the truth of business. It could cost somebody less money to drive a brand new Freightliner right off the lot of the dealer. Less money than having a paid off truck. If they're the only breadwinner in the family, if they have to do the work, if they got to drive all those miles, they have to work. That brand new truck makes them more money than that used truck that's paid for sitting there. Fuel mileage. Three miles a gallon, pays for that truck all day long. Just in fuel savings, pays the payment over an old truck that gets six miles a gallon compared to one that gets nine. You could do the math. It's not that hard. So there's a time and place for brand new trucks. And there's time and place for people who have Used trucks that are paid off. Twelve hundred bucks, Jersey to Massachusetts, and then there's times for the long nose Pete's, the W nine hundreds, and things like that. Right? If you don't need the money, and you're not running the trucking as a business, and you just like the lifestyle, and you like to ride in cool looking things, chromed up, shiny. And you pull in that parking lot and Barry goes, wow, nice truck. You like that? Because you, you like the attention and all that? That's what those trucks are for. That's what them trucks are for. Because they get five miles a gallon. Maybe five and a half. And if you're going out west, Santa Ana winds hit you, you got 44,000, you're down to three and a half, four miles a gallon. But I love those trucks. They look cool. Love the chrome. But I wouldn't drive it as a business. Just my opinion. It can be done, but you pay the price for it. 1500 bucks, 1300 PA to Vermont. And I got a good friend that has one. He's doing really well with it. Um, but it's not my choice, right? So everybody has their own choice. That's what makes America great. Those trucks are good for local runs. Well, yeah, Charles, that, that's the thing. See, that's another thing. If you're local, you're not going to get good fuel miles in any truck because all the stop and go. So there's a difference there. If you're over the road and it's all highway and, you know, you're coast to coast, you want the best fuel mileage possible coast to coast. Best aerodynamic coast to coast. Not those trucks. But if you just run around... Right, well, and same thing with insurance, okay? So if you got a used truck that costs you uh, $100 a month and you got a new truck that costs you $500 a month, that's $400, you know, you're about $4,800 a year just in insurance cost. But if you got one truck that gets six miles a gallon and you got the 
Cascadia is like nine miles a gallon. That's three miles a gallon. So, you know, do the math. You take 120,000. You know, let's say a guy does 120,000 miles, right? And he gets nine miles a gallon in that Cascadia. What's, what's, his, what's his bill? 13,333 gallons, probably. And then you got a guy that, you know, burns 20,000 gallons in a six mile per gallon truck. That's 7,000 gallons of fuel. And if you're paying over three bucks a gallon, $21,000, $22,000 difference. That almost pays for the truck. Just in that savings. <clears throat> because then you got to read the repairs on the other truck, right? You figure that in and so forth and so forth. Um, there you go. Greg Zimmer, what's up from Salt Lake City? Hey, Greg, I sent you your um, Oregon to go through Oregon because you don't want to show up in Oregon without your permit. I think it's a $480 fine. Then they ask you to you know, spend eight bucks to get one or whatever. Uh, I got your Oregon set up for you. I sent it to you. You should be good to go. They go by your license plate when you go through and your truck number anyway, so they are, they're not going to stop you. You're in, the, you're in the computer system now. Went in the other day and filled everything out and got you, got you rocking. New trucks are safer, disc brakes and other safety equipment, lower rates. Then in, in over tax Minnesota, that, that plays a thing in it too. You're the, the right insurance company will give you brakes than, than other stuff. Um, so there's a lot of moving parts in this industry. And there's just not one way to do something. Everybody has their opinions and stuff like that, which is great. You know, that's what makes it great. That's what makes we can talk about it. Um, we can argue about it. You know, so it never gets old because somebody will, you know, say you're full of this, you're full of that. And then other people, no, you're full. It's just, you know, banter back and forth, right? Banter. That's like when James, when OTJB calls me up and says, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to broker seven loads this week. You're going to broker none. I bet you. Try to beat me. And then we, we get into that back and forth, right? And uh, Lauren, what's up? Maybe Lauren might want to participate. Um, I talked to Willie at Thunder Funding. And we we're talking about maybe during uh, like the mats time frame when it's supposed to be or the gats, you know, logistically figure this out. Do like an hour show, maybe a two hour show. Have you guys live, your studio, this studio, put them together, whatever, and give away swag like we're at the truck show. Like we're at the truck show. What do you think? What do you think, Lauren? Um, Willie was all into that. He was... He was saying we should do that, and I says we can do that. So if uh, Lauren wants to get involved in that, which I'm sure he will, uh, we'll do a live truck show virtual giveaway, uh, just like we're there. I'm going to get some sound dampening equipment in here, so that way make the sound better, things like that. I'm going to get another lens for this camera, do a little different stuff there, um, and then I'll do those videos where I can do stuff there. Um, I was hoping Lauren would answer if he was, um, but he's always busy. He probably just popped in for a second. So if you want the one, two, three load board, there's the, uh, the man of the hour. If you use that code, slowly. Going across the screen, I got like in turtle mode. I can speed it up. 48035, get everything you see, and you see that it updates automatically. Um, those folks do a great job there updating this load board, giving us more and more tools to use so we can get out there and make money. The boss is home, so I have to go help her, and we're going to get off of this thing. And uh, those new shows will be coming out soon. Thanks for watching. Drive safe. Sunny side up, dirty side down, all that 
you know, CB top lingo stuff. Um, NRD, if you're watching this show, didn't comment. Quit grinding the gears. Just kidding. Eddie, keep your eye on the road. Overtaxed, I hope Pam runs you for months. Don't let you come home. Just run the wheels off that truck. She's going to dispatch you and never get you back to Minnesota until the COVID's over. Dave's going to call me up. What are you talking about? All right, man. <laughs> Keep your eye on the prize. That's right. Keep your eye on the prize. Um, we'll see y'all later. See ya.